What's up, everybody? It's Stephen Williams, founder and president of the CreditRepairShop.com. I just wanted to make this quick video because I want you to watch out for this. This is a scam that debt collectors are using, and they're getting away with it because people don't know the right questions to ask. Um, I was just having my little uh, my lunch here. I stopped having lunch uh, eaten because it just gets. I don't want to get tired. You know, I have so much stuff to do through the day writing these responses to the court that uh it just gets me tired but if you ever these up uh, then this company is not paying me any money for this so i'm just letting you know it has these are those drinks you've probably seen them on tv um this one has banana almond coffee uh c-a-c-a-o cacao and coconut and green coffee, and it says organic. Uh, Daily Harvest. My wife gets these for us. Uh, they do do that rebuild, so you got to watch out for that. But uh, it's good, and it, I have these for lunch, and real good. And then I have my water because I want to make sure I drink enough water. But real quick, uh, we had a client where they're being sued for twenty three thousand dollars. Twenty. $23,652.81. Uh, the person might be watching this video. They might know. Uh, but know that this is about them. I'm not going to mention any names. But what happened is, okay, they're suing. This is something that you got to watch out for when you get a court summons. If you know that the debt is owed, which is, I would say, more than, potentially more than six months past a year, more than likely that debt has been sold to debt collection companies and then what debt collection companies do is they uh the portfolio company buys it which is an, the big debt collection company and then they seek out their partners throughout the united states to where they can say okay if we will partner with you to so you can collect this debt here in that area you submit uh the money to file it in court you do all of that legwork and we, we can split the revenue from what you collect from this debt so um i uh had some questions that were not answered in the summons and i called the debt collection company on uh, behalf of this customer and i asked some simple questions now when before they would talk to me, they wanted to make sure they had a power of attorney. Uh, before they talked to me, they wanted to know the last four digits of the customer's social security number. Before they would talk to me, they wanted to know the date of birth of the customer. Before they talked to me, they wanted to know the address. And then once I gave them all the information, they said, this is a to collect the debt. Anything that we say will be used in that manner to collect the debt. So I said, okay, no problem. And I asked them, plain and simple, what is the full account number for the debt? They said that all they have was the last four. Uh, the next thing that I asked is, are you collecting this for the credit card company or did you buy the debt? Guess what happened? He hung up. He hung up because they're recording that conversation. And this this uh is just like one of the ones that we won uh not too long ago where the debt collector is lying on a court document saying that the credit card company is suing them is suing the defendant when it's actually a debt collector and what they're hoping is that number one no one answers the court summons number two no one shows up to court, so they get a default judgment. And then they just, you know, try to garnish the wages. You have to ask for everything. And and if you notice, you know, some people that made their little comments here on YouTube, I, I'm trying to tell black people, quote unquote, black people, or people that are in trouble with their debt to run away from paying their bills. This is not a video about running away from paying your bills. This is a video about 
if a company is suing you for debt that you have a right to validate that debt if this is the original creditor fine uh we just have a few questions to make sure what if you if they only give you the last four of the account number what if you had multiple accounts with that company and you know only the other numbers are different there's on this one here if, if they want to go with that excuse you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve other account numbers that are not disclosed here that could be different than the last four uh i have uh some debit cards and i think all of those debit cards at the beginning had the same number at the beginning on all of them uh the amount of that they're trying to sue for you have a right to get the uh charges and any payments that you've made to verify that that amount they can't just walk up to you and say you owe this amount uh when i spoke with the client he gave he gave a good analogy that i didn't even think about this having someone just come with a paper like this is like someone walking up to you in the street and saying you owe uh twenty three thousand dollars to me and this is the last four of the credit card number and this is a bank that it was with which this bank does business with millions of people i'm pretty sure if you walk down the street and you said those uh two things to someone that someone could say could think yeah i did have a, i do have an account with them and uh maybe uh you know i owe a certain amount of money but that doesn't mean the person owes that amount of money you have a right to ask for all of the documentation approving the validation uh what i suspect will happen in this is, is when the response is written to the complaint that they will either respond back and say that they're not going to go after this collection or they may say nothing and then when the customer goes into court and says their name and they see that they're there two things could happen one they could just say dismissed because they're not going to have the information that's requested in the response to them or maybe they get all the information but they're still going to have to disclose that they purchased a debt and that's going to make it to where they potentially have to start the whole thing over because they did not uh submit this court summons properly it's just a technicality but it is something that could happen what they're hoping for people to do is that they want people not to show up to court they want people not to respond to the court summons and they want you to make a mistake and not respond to each point in the court summons and you can watch my videos on how to do that so um watch out you know watch out uh but yes this the debt collector hung up in my face uh and did not would will not answer my calls i have the direct extension number to that individual i'm going to put that in this uh, uh response uh to the court to let them know that they did hang up and that we're still uh you know we understand the line could be quote unquote maybe disconnected maybe he uh had a, a you know a medical uh issue or something that made him not be able to answer my question or to uh answer the phone when i called back or to call me back and say that he accidentally hung up uh the reason why he don't want to make that statement is because they are recording the calls and if he would have made the statement that they are collecting on the behalf of that bank they would have put themselves in uh, in uh, the position to be sued because they're not actually representing this bank. They're not representing this bank. And he would have had no problem saying it uh, if he was. So um, just want to get that out to you. I'll get back to work here. This is Stephen Williams, founder and president of the creditrepairshop.com. Thank you.